Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogtoot.com and welcome to a very special video because today in this video we are going to take a look at a new page builder in the market which is the Breezy page builder. The great thing about this page builder is that it is free and it is awesome. Now let me show you how this page builder is. Let us see how it looks. Okay, so first thing is that we have to download the plugin, the download the page builder. So what you can do, you can go to your dashboard, hover plugins and click on add new. And in the search bar, type in Breezy, B-R-I-Z-Y. Here it is, Breezy Page Builder. It is new, that's why it has only 10,000 active installs, but you can see the rating is just awesome. I have uh, installed and activated it, but if you haven't done that, then make sure you install and activate it. Now go to Pages and let's create a new page and let's see how it works. Okay, so let's uh, name it to uh, Breezy, okay. And after that, you can select the template, what kind of template you want and all those things. So I'm selecting landing page. Let's click on publish. Now, just like Elementor, you get this button, edit with Breezy. In Elementor, we get this button over here, edit with Elementor. So let's see how it works. Okay, let's click on this button. Okay guys, so this is the interface for Breezy and my initial response to, the, to this is that it is really nice very clean neat and very very nice i really like this one now let's start see uh, let, let's start seeing how this works and what are the dif different things that we see over here okay so we have few buttons over here if you see the first button it is to add an element when you click on this button you can see there are so many different elements over here you have text button video you can insert forms counters we'll see all these things later on don't worry later on in this video we'll see how to insert a form and so on but you can see there are so many different elements and another great thing the first great thing is that it is free another great thing is that you can use woocommerce things over here for example you can see here we have woocommerce products you can just uh, insert these things over here and you will see the products over here because woocommerce products uh, element or these modules are not available with other free page builders okay so this is a great thing over here for example for okay for let we'll see that thing later on how to in add those things and so on first this was the first button to add an element then we have another button to reorder the blog now this is also a very very important thing not present with some other page builders that we have seen earlier this is a really important one because what happens is when you cl uh, create different blocks using different uh, page builders different sections then what happens suppose we want to reorder the block we want to you know bring the block which is at the bottom at the top so what happens is that is a really tough job to do over there but here we can do it easily we'll see how we can do that okay then after that we have another button for styling and here you can see we have some predefined colors of uh, predefined fonts and font size and so on okay so you can also add new fonts over here you can add new styles over here and so on then the next button is for mobile view you can see how your website looks in mobile and desktop then after that we have this hamburger button you can change the template from your page template then you have some plugin setting and so on then you have this button over here you can you know view whatever you are uh, whatever changes you make over here you can click on this button preview button a new tab will open and you can see what all are the changes and you can update this page okay so this is a very simple very beautiful plain and simple uh, user interface i would say now let's see how this works okay so to if you want to start creating a page then what you do is you click on this plus button and just like Elementor and DV, you have different blocks over here. You can use different blocks from here and you can start creating your website. You can also see that different categories. For example, if you want to see header, you can click on header and you'll see different categories in header. You can, this is all the light theme you can see and you can select the dark theme as well. We have both the options. Very good, very nice. Uh, the good thing over here is that everything is colored, not like Elementor where we have Okay, well first let me clear one thing whenever I say not like Elementor it does not mean this plugin is better than Elementor not at all This is just a new plugin in the market Elementor is a very well settled plugin that is a great plugin But I'm just saying you that there are few things that are not present in Elementor and this plugin has done that and I think that is really really great 
okay because in elementor if you have if you see blocks those are black and white okay maybe in future they will also make something like this but at present though most of the blocks are black and white and here you can see the colors and you know predefined colors you also have dark uh, colors over here dark theme okay so let us see uh let us select a light header from here uh this one looks nice let's select this one all right now as you can see within one just with one click you have your header uh, over here and you can see there is a beautiful background image we have this thing this uh, text we have this button we have some more text over here okay so this is how it works and if you see one thing when i you know how over here when i move my cursor over here you can see it says 200 pixels now this is the padding now if you want to increase or decrease the padding you can just scroll it like this okay so very nice very cool feature and you can see the results in real time so really nice one now the next thing is that we have this thing some text over here now when you click over here you'll see that you get this inline text editor over here if you want to change the color you just simply select this you can change it and you can see within few seconds not in not even a second in real time you will see all the changes if you want to make it black you can select black and you will see the changes over here okay then you have some more settings if you want to change the typography if you want to change the font for example you can see we have changed the font you can change some uh, alignment you can make it left right center alignment you have list you can make it list okay it's all up to you there are different types you can make it bold and all these things you can also add a link to this then after that we have this setting option when you click on this you can uh, adjust some top gap and bottom gap that is some top and bottom uh, padding you can say you can change the html tag uh, by default it is paragraph you can make it h1 h2 and so on you also have this link which says more settings when you click on this you'll see some more settings over here for example all time padding if you want to increase only specific uh, specific padding or margin for example if you want to uh, increase only top padding so what you can do you can click on this button and you can increase this thing now it will increase only top padding for left pad for right padding you can see this one as you can see now it is only increasing right padding then we have some more advanced options over here if you want to show only on desktop you can select this if you uh, uh deselect this one then this will not show on desktop and so on we also have some animations uh, showing up over here if you select bounce you can see the animation you can see it over here let me select again you can see the animation over here okay the delay is one second and duration is also one second so we can increase and decrease this for example let me make the duration three seconds now you can see the animation very slow animation okay because the duration is three seconds and let me delay make it zero now you can see the image date one okay if you want to make it fast you will you can decrease the duration to one second okay you can see the changes over here so really nice one really cool simple within few seconds or few minutes you'll understand how it works okay now so this was the thing then we have this gap we have this button you can click on this button and uh, this is an icon actually when you click on this icon you'll see there are few uh, uh, options that you get the first one is to change an icon if you want to change the icon if you want to change the size you can do it from here if you select 64 you, you can see the size has increased you can make it small big or you can change uh, you can select your own uh, okay these are predefined sizes 32 48 64 if you want some custom size you can select it from here and if you want to change the icon you can do it from here there are so many different icons over here let's select this apple icon okay as you can see now we have this apple icon and if you want to change the color simply click over here let's make it white this is looking awesome okay you can change the transparency you can change the background color let's make it uh, dark blue okay you can see it looks awesome you can change the border color let's make the border color red you can see everything is happening so nicely so beautifully and if you want to change the hover color for example uh, when i hover over this icon it becomes red so this is the hover effect here we have another button this is the hover effect now i want to change the color when i hover over this when i hover over this the apple becomes uh, red i want to make it uh, maybe some different color let's see so let's select maybe light blue now as you can see when i hover this the apple becomes light blue or maybe black okay so this is how it works very easy to work with this one then we have uh, uh, some background thing over here for example we have seen how to make all these changes and all these things 
from top and bottom. Now this is a total section, a complete section, a block. You'll see a button over here. This button is to make changes to this block or to this section. Now let's click on this button. Now the oh, another great thing about this uh, page builder, Breezy page builder is that you can convert anything into slider. Now, what do I mean by that? For example, when you click on this button, you can make it global or you can make it slider. When I select make it slider, as you can see, it is loading. Okay, let it load. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, we have these two arrows over here. We have this thing over here. We can now this is converted into slider. So this is a really, really cool feature. I think this is a really mind blowing feature. If you don't know much about, uh, you know, page builders and so on, you won't understand that. But for us, I, you know, this is a really crazy feature. Okay. So very nice feature. We have some more options over here. You can change the background. Uh, you can put an image, a video, or even a map. Okay. You can make this image parallax if you want. For example, this is at present, uh, parallax is none, but if you want, you can make it fixed. Now let's see what happens. Okay. Because the image size uh, was quite uh, the exact size. That's why it is not happening. You can make it animated and let's see, we can add some videos if you want. First, let's make it none. If you can also add some video, for example, by default, some video is added. You can see the video in the background. You can select the quality 1080, 720, and you can make it a loop. If you want this uh, to play in loop, you can select this one. You can also add a map in the background just like this. Okay. And this is really cool feature. And if you have added a map and you cannot see all these things, there is another feature, which is to add an overlay. Now let's see how we can add an overlay. For example, as you can see, when you add a black overlay, you can make it darker. Okay. This is how it looks. Now let's change the text color to white. Okay. So you can play around with this one really cool and really nice to work with these things. So this is how you add a block. Let's see how, what more options do we have. Let's click on this plus button. Let's add a new block and let's select maybe this, uh, contact block. Let's select this contact and let us select this one. Okay. And maybe let's select a darker shade this time. Okay. A darker block and let's select this one. Okay. All right. Now, so we have the darker thing over here. Okay. So this is how it looks. And we have the icons, beautiful icons over here. We have some text and this is a form. We have a button. Now let's see how we can make our changes to this button. So let's click on button. Similarly, all the things are very similar, just like icon. We have different options for different things for background, for text. Let's change the text color to white. Okay. This is looking better. Then we have uh, something to change the uh, button. If you want to change the button size and so on. If you want to change the corner, for example, here the con corner are very like a rectangular corner. If you want, you can make it circle. You can see rounded corners. Okay. We can change the style to this one. Just with one click, you can see the style of the button changes. So really nice. You can change the size like this. You can increase or decrease the border really awesome thing. You can change the uh, icon at present. There's no icon, but let's add an icon to this and let's add something. And there are different types of icons. Also, you can also select icons using different categories. For example, yeah, let's select travel icon. Uh, then you will see this rocket. Let's see, uh, select this rocket. Now you can see the rocket icon in the button. Now you can also increase the size of that icon. You can see 32, you can position is left or light. You can increase the spacing between the icon and the text. So really, really nice one. Okay. And then let's see some more features now. Now, if you go to change everything one by one, it will take some time. For example, if you want to change the color of this icon, or if you want to change the icon, you, if you want to change the color, red color, and you want to make it something like blue or something or white, then what you have to do? You have to go over here. Then you select this red color and then you select some different color, maybe white. And this is how it works. But there is another amazing option. Let me first control Z this to undo this. Now what we can do, we can click on over here on this button styling button. And because this is the red color here, we, everywhere we see red color. So I want to convert all the red colors into some different colors. So what I can do is I can select this red color and I can select some different color from here. Okay. Uh, maybe something like this. Okay. Blue. Okay. Light blue like this. Okay. You can select this red color and you can see all the changes are happening over here. If you want to make it blue, 
okay let's do this you can see everything is getting changed to blue now you don't have to do it one by one okay now here we have this icons or uh, uh, light blue okay so let's change the color of the icon here is the light blue color you select this let's make it red now as you can see we have these icons red we have all everything that is there in, over here on your website everything will change at a at same time okay so this is the global setting and very very useful setting and let's see how we can change this section uh, i was talking about so when you click on this thing reorder blocks you can reorder the blocks so let's drag this block at the top okay let's come back now as you can see the changes have taken place the this block is now at the top and this one is now at the bottom okay so very nice very easy to do and let's see what we have next let's see how the mobile thing works let's click on over here let's select mobile you can see everything is mobile ready mobile friendly we don't have to do anything everything just adjusted automatically okay let's again get back to desktop and let's do some more settings so let's okay so we have seen till now how to how to add a block how to change uh, make changes in the block let's see how we can add an element so if you want to add an element you simply click on this plus button and instead of selecting these blocks you select add a blank block okay so when you do so you'll get these two columns uh, over here you have a simple row two columns what you can do suppose you, if you want only one column you can click on this button here at the top and you can delete it okay so that column is gone and suppose if you want to add something over here for example oh uh, let's see let's click on this add element and let's add some element over here for example let's add a counter or maybe a progress bar suppose we want to add a progress bar you simply drag and drop over here okay now as you can see we have a progress bar over here now if you want to make changes over here just simply select this select the color whatever you want to make uh, changes to you can select that and you, all the changes will be done automatically okay so we have this thing let's change the text let's increase the size okay so let's increase the size you can see the changes are taking place let me make it uh, around 20 yeah looking perfect let's change the color the text color and uh, bar color so bar color is at present red let me make it blue okay so let's select this or uh, maybe light blue okay looking better so similarly you can change all these things you can change the alignment you have here also you have some more settings you can change the width okay and you can change the alignment as well okay you can make it center align you can duplicate it so that you don't have to create again and again and then you can select the second one and you can change all these things for example here instead of my skills we can select uh, maybe projects okay or something like that here also we can change the color very easily let's ch change this color and if you want to change this percentage what you can do you can simply click over here progress and you can change this from here okay so 70 percent 40 percent whatever you want if you don't want to show the percentage sign you can just make it no okay so this is how it works you have many different things over here this is by uh, my my view is that this is a really nice one especially taking into consideration that this is a free plugin free page builder the uh, the user interface is good the blocks are beautiful well designed professionally designed and there are so many special features as i have explained to you we can convert anything into slider like we have done over here you can see this is big this has become a slider we can convert anything into slider we have this uh, reorder of block and so on so i think this is a really good one okay let's see if you are missing something or not okay we have seen these things we can add some more element if you want okay yeah we also have this uh woocommerce elements for example if you want to show the products you simply drag and drop it over here okay first we have to add a new uh, blank block okay so we have a block let's delete this row uh, this column and let's again add an element and let's drop the product element over here okay now as you can see everything has started showing over here and this is looking beautiful and as i said you earlier product a uh, woocommerce thing is not present in most of the free uh, page builder so this is a great thing okay you can make some changes here also if you select this thing if you can select the number of columns if you want to change okay product counts so suppose instead of this we want to show only four we can select four from here 
or if you want to sh uh, show eight you can select eight from here okay you have eight products now you can change the filtration or you can select the categories that you want to show or reorder by what filter by how and so on you can change the alignment then you have some more settings over here click on this and you can select the width for this one and then click on more settings for some more uh, padding and margin settings okay so again a great feature okay so this is how it works and uh, once you are done with something you can simply click on this button and you'll see a preview of how your website is looking at present or how your page is looking at present all right now as you can see this is how it is looking okay it is loading okay so really nice one i really like this one there are many beautiful things over here many beautiful blocks and everything is good i think uh, because it is a free plugin you can simply go ahead download it check it if you like it that's good if you don't like it no problem it's free you can simply go ahead and check check this out and uh, also i would like to know from you guys what do you guys think about this plugin whether you will be able or whether you, you're uh, ready and agree to use this on your websites or you think it's you know whatever you think about this plugin let me know in the comment section below i would really love to hear from you guys okay so thanks a lot for watching guys if you find this thing helpful then make sure to subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video and i'm also planning maybe if i get some positive comments like yeah this plugin is good this page builder is good then maybe i'll create some long tutorials like how to create a website a complete website using this page builder complete e-commerce website using this page builder and so on so if you are interested please let me know in the comment section below okay thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon